but still pay insufficient attention to the frightening scenario of a comprehensive cyber attack which would bring to a complete halt the power supply, transportation, hospital services, our society as a whole. The COVID-19 crisis would be seen in this respect as a small disturbance in comparison to a major cyber attack. To use the COVID-19 crisis as a timely opportunity to reflect on the lessons the cybersecurity community can draw and improve our preparedness for a potential cyber pandemic. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory and honor that's due to how Hashem Yahweh Shai, Hashem Rakakodash, devil honors to the elders, the apostles of Great Millstone, blessings and salutations to the whole elect. No, in this gospel, bro. I lift up the standard of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Um, got this guy going into a possible uh, cyber attack from the World Economic Forum. He basically is telling you about the dangers of a potential cyber attack which can lead into the outage of the power grid which cyber goes into uh computer technology infrastructures and so forth you know he's basically telling you that's gonna be dangerous that's gonna be a time of, of, of trouble you know he got that germanic slavic type accent you know and uh guys like this man they're just insiders okay and they bring this information out because they have to put it out there so they can get the public to to basically comply or we'll have to get the public to be in tune with what's going on and like i've mentioned in previous videos this is how esau allows his sorcery to actually become a, a thing of, of of dominance so to speak all right so a uh, common cyber attack or outage on the grid as the scriptures prophesied that those plagues were going to hit egypt as before so we're living in the times now that you have what they call experimental things or experimental values that they're testing up such as this uh pandemic you know um uh the different infrastructures geopolitics you know all these particular things they got going on these particular forms and different fronts and government they're getting ready to do something big like uh lord's will the next video i do it was a video with Corey holcomb with his simple ass all right basically he was going into how this pandemic how they're gonna release something or how they're releasing something on the people and um fear the air you know how he's stating that mass doesn't work it's coming through your eyeballs and your ears and so forth like that well if that is the case then that's for you evil doers and you wicked doers you know because uh brothers for the most part even if they are coming down with some type of proverbial illnesses they're recovering at a hundred percent and continue to doing the work you know and hey that's the lord's will and um you know we know that esau is going to release some type of biological attack on a nation and this is the reason why uh they want to bring out this this jab because i believe when they get the jab that's when people are going to really get infected with what they're talking about as, as, as c19 i believe that's when people are going to be ultimately infected you know which brothers think is a hoax but when we say in terms of a hoax we're saying in terms of they're making a hysteria out of something that you can't really prove but i do believe they have a virus i just it just i haven't seen them really release it on humanity yet and if they are releasing it on the people they're doing it in small increments but it's going to come a time that people are really going to be getting sick out here and convulsing in the streets and we know that through the scriptures and the testimony that the elder brother Dimash had uh, about him having a vision about people getting sick from some type of biological attack on humanity and people were literally dying and convulsing in the streets. And a month later, COVID was announced in the United States. So that's a heavy vision and it looked like the Lord is going to bring it to pass. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to play this video again because I know the guy has a very thick uh, language barrier. But basically just pay attention to what he's saying and his prophecy and it's all leading up until the end of this man's society his kingdom his empire it's all leading to the downfall of his geopolitical regimes and you know his uh his beast system which his beast goes into the system this whole genetic makeup of the military that power because when you equate something 
movie beast type personality you think of something with extreme power all right and a lot of the policies are going to be implemented through the military like that guy i believe it was cuomo chris cuomo from new york i think he's the governor if i'm not mistaken of new york and he basically stated that um in an article that they were going to distribute this using the military so right there that's a powerful uh, uh force right there that's gonna basically bring the fear out of people when people see a powerful military presence in their neighborhoods that's gonna strike fear and compliance to people because just from history the united states military and the un they have all sorts of bad allegations against them which actually seem to be true rape allegations killing people unethically you know detaining people torture rigorous treatment mental conditioning or mental torture these government agencies have that history like if you look up uh, what they called uh, uh, MK Ultra during the time of World War II they was experiencing uh, or they was playing psychological mind games on a lot of their soldiers to get them to be brainwashed into to carrying out certain orders and hits and being able to control their thoughts and movements like we believe a lot of these celebrities are under MK Ultra to a small degree and this is why they're going with the agenda of the illuminaries but um anyway i'm gonna play this video again and i got like a precept or two i want to go into nothing too thick you know straight to the point just to, to get get the vibration out here that this is prophecy and you can expect the grids or somehow they're going to do something to uh shut the grid down to the point it's going to be blackouts because esau is going to come in the midst of a blackout so when these military troops roll you better believe that it's going to be some type of blackout or some type of darkness that they're going to unleash on the populace all right and that's going to be bad if they do that in the winter time i mean it's already going to be cold and on top of that you create a blackout hinting operation dark winter you create a blackout in negative 20 degree weather no heat no nothing <laughs> no food that's a very pitiful case to be in and those are the times that we're coming into you know so if esau really wants to show his horns that'd be something the lord will put on his spirit to do because the scriptures it did say that we're going to enter a time of, of human suffering beyond no other. So look forward to things like that to happen possibly, okay? You know, we don't know how they're going to play out outside of the scriptures, but we know they will play out. All right, so anyway, here we go once again. But still, pay insufficient attention to the frightening scenario of a comprehensive cyber attack, which will bring to a complete halt. Right, he said a cyber attack will bring a complete halt to the society's economic systems. Meaning if we was to get hit with a cyber attack, that means that uh, very precious information such as, you know, social security numbers, credit card, bank account information, critical information that the government even sells to other nations and third party companies. Like your information is not even privatized anymore, to be honest with you. But um, when they do these things, the American infrastructure and just around the world is going to be at a complete vulnerable state. Everything halts. Jobs, you know, uh, banks, the uh, stock market, you know, people's stocks and bonds, uh, money, you know, transactions. And that's just on a small, minuscule scale as to the amount of damage that this shutdown can have, okay? And it will bring a complete halt into these governments, man, to the point that they will have to deploy troops because chaos will surely commence surely thereafter so we're living in some 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 heavy times man you know we're not bringing this information out just so you jakes out there can just play games with it we're bringing this out through the spirit because honestly this was sent to me in an article and this wasn't even on my spirit to do it but when i started watching it i said yeah the spirit like go ahead and do something on it and the lord just guided me you know like i'm not even through the spirit i know what i'm saying but the spirit of the lord is guiding me to say these things in such profound manner man or proficient manner not profound, you know. But uh, there's just the spirit of Yahweh about Shemiah was shy, man. That's all I can say. But anyway, here we go. Supply, transportation, hospital services, our society as a whole. The COVID-19 crisis would be seen. He said COVID-19. <laughs> but basically, man, it, br it brings a complete halt that the world shuts down. You know, like they got a movie called The Day the Earth Stood Still. Even though I believe that was kind of going into the like the chariots, if I'm not mistaken. Haven't seen it in a while, but it was based on prof prophetic events. But basically, it would be a type of scenario, the earth stands still because everything would just be totally shut down. You know, 
nothing we were operating transportation systems you know planes and so forth and that's the last thing you want is to have a, a grid shut down and you got aircrafts flying over your home even though i believe like the modern day aircrafts are equipped with some equipped with some type of uh, epm prone uh devices that helps them to survive shortly after the emp strike but what about the ones that haven't been serviced with that equipment what happens to those planes they falls out the sky they fall on people's homes they create a lot of chaos a lot of destruction okay you got to expect things outside of the normal to take place in this very time we live in there brothers you know like you got them clowns out there talking about jacob's trouble is gay like all right man you're gonna see how happy it's gonna be in that day for you simple bird brain niggas out there that talk that shit all right i want to see what you're gonna do general gahana when you can't go get the three for one big mac special man at mcdonald's you big nigga all you people talking shit about the rfid chip ain't the mark of the beast man situations like what this man is talking about will be very justifiable on bringing a, a, a mark of the beast system setting it up that's why they gonna do it so they can set up some type of uh, 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 infrastructure system like that that's based on digital currency or something digital because they want to be able to track everything and everybody so what are you jakes talking about out there oh that's that's not gonna happen well if it ain't gonna happen then you why are you even believing in the bible because 90 percent of the bible is really written to be fulfilled for a lot of times man definitely the prophecies because if you read in Ezekiel, Ezekiel, Isaiah, Jeremiah, you know, Nehemiah, Jeremiah 49, 48, 49, 50, and 51 is talking about a latter time, man. Jeremiah 50 and 51, that has nothing to do with ancient Babylon. Isaiah 13, Isaiah 14 has nothing to do with ancient Babylon, man. That's talking about today. It was written for this time. That's why Paul said that things that are written before time are written for our learning today. So what's wrong with you guys out there, man? Calling yourselves Israelites and making such a, a damnable statement like that. That's a that's a heresy, okay? And the scriptures say, at the one or two ammunitions, admonishments reject. So really, his point is to be going back and forth with you guys out there. But you know, we got to defend the gospel because, you know, this truth, believe it or not, is not falling on deaf ears, man. All right? heard it from the guy's mouth man his name is Klaus Schwab maybe Slavic or Russian or something I don't know man he one of them weirdos out there but this is this this is this is what it is okay we're living in time of, of, of heavy prophecies coming to pass and you know what like the scripture said in Ezekiel the 33rd chapter it says lo and it will come then they should know that it have been a prophet among them all right so you can't say well nobody told me the Lord got the YouTube drowning with information. What do you mean nobody told you? Well, I didn't know the Mark of the Beast was a chip. Why didn't you know? You got brothers putting out Mark of the Beast shows five, boy, seven days a week. I know I at least do a, 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 show, a, a show on a chip at least once a week. Twice sometimes if I'm lucky, <laughs> you know? But you can't say you wasn't warned, man. That's why it tells you in Ezekiel the, third, uh, the second and third chapter, Warn Israel, man. Give them warning for me. And it's going to come a time that the Lord is going to literally shut us up. All right? He's going to literally put his hand over our mouths to the point we're not going to be able to prophecy the things that you see in coming, man. He's, he's going to silence us. You know? We're going to be in our own little corner. People are going to be like, wait, weren't you the guy from YouTube? Weren't you the guys that was on the corner saying America's going to be destroyed? And that the RFID chip was the market of beast? And that the 12 tribes of Israel was the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans? Weren't you those guys? And we gonna look at them like, hey, I don't know what you're talking about, man. Dude gonna be like, nah, man, you was a dude. I remember you, man. You, I just saw you on YouTube two weeks ago. Right there, out there in X, X, Y, and Z Road. I'm like, dog, I don't know what you're talking about. You ain't ever seen me nowhere. 
and you keep on pressing on, then hey, the Lord may just give us the spiritual power to rip your ass in half, man, for being so damn stupid and rebellious. You know? Because hell coming to you, Jakes, man. They already talking about, Como already talking about the highest uh, mortality rates among this pandemic is blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans in that successive order. They already talking about that, man. They already, they, they're targeting you. You tribes, man, they took something from Wuhan, China, and made you the face of it. Now, all of a sudden, this guy, Como, or whatever the hell his name is, Bati Boy, whatever this clown name is, he basically said that, well, we need to be able to get them the job first. Like, why the hell they, you, think about this. You were never mentioned in any type of prosperity uh, functioning when it comes to world's politics or economic forums or anything to forward your race of people to being in a better position to help you out financially, okay, business-wise. You were never mentioned to the forefront of that. But all of a sudden, when it comes time to stick you or poke you with something, now all of a sudden, you're the biggest concern. Oh, we gotta help the, the minorities. Get the hell out of here with that, man. Scriptures say, never trust thy enemy. They never wanted to put you at the forefront of nothing. They don't even want to give you a damn commercial <laughs> without slandering you. Only time you're on the news is when it's some shootout. Oh, LBG Duck was killed in the magnificent Mount area, Chicago, Illinois, shot 20 times. Only time you make head news is if something negative is equated with it. Nothing positive. So what make you think they're really trying to help you with a stribbling the jab to you, man? When you simple-minded bird brain Negro's gonna wake up and smell the damn coffee. Like you got this stupid nigga Nate gonna say something. You should take it. Well, it's gonna be the same snake that's gonna tell you Jakes to take the chip too. While he's gonna be ducking out the back door like the harling that he is, he gonna convince his congregation to take that chip. Then a lot of you gonna be conflicted, man. Well, GMS say one thing, but then, nah, man, don't come over to us, man. Don't come around us, because you ain't welcome around us, man. You know, if you ain't of the elect. Because the scriptures say the Lord will have mercy when we have mercy. All right? So anyway, precept, Exodus 10 and 21, it says, And Yahweh said unto Moses, Stretch out thy hand towards heaven, that there may be darkness over the land of Egypt, and darkness which may be felt. That's a thick darkness, okay? And it's not only going into... Uh, uh, fill in the dark because if you walk in a dark room you can feel it, the tension you can feel it but this is talking about more in the line of chaos man more in the line of spiritual presence because America will become another haunted house those spirits and so forth that the Lord he's going to reactivate them from the fourth dimension and they're going to wreck hell on his planet because you remember America is a big graveyard for the Native Americans and Negroes man alright it's a lot of spirits uh, that the Lord is going to bring back that's not easy right now that he's going to raise up to put hell on you Edomites and you other the nations and the two thirds of our people so when it's that darkness you can feel it's going into the times we're living in now man primarily with this military takeover you know them coming in at, at 4 o'clock in the morning block out green light your neighborhood and all of a sudden the door is flying off the hinges man they shooting everybody from the dog so from the dog to the newborn this man, I'm trying to tell you, man, this man is getting ready to show his horns. So, hey, you Jakes, man, you better get it together because like the, the elder big bro, Amawan Gabar, he said, look, man, this, these videos are our last warnings. You know, uh, I remember this guy by the name of Ronald Wyland, okay, which he thought he was one of God's two witnesses of Revelation, which he's a false prophet. Dude was a damn false prophet, but... He wrote a book called 2008 God's Finest Witness. And this is before I came into the truth. I was studying uh, eschatology at a high rate. I was going to bookstores, sitting there for hours reading books on prophecy, just sitting in a bookstore reading, you know, because that's one of my hobbies. I used to go downtown Chicago and I just go read, go to a bookstore, have my little cookie, my little cappuccino, and I just get in books and read, you know. And um, I was always fascinated with prophecy. And, um, he wrote an interesting book, and I still got the book today. It's called 2008 God's Final Witness that he was talking about about a year 2008. The Most High was supposed to come back and bring the tribulation, which he was completely off on that. But he made a lot of interesting points in that in that book, you know, and, and some points you can still learn from today about how the Third World War is going to be man's kind last, uh, last war, you know, their final war. And also, he stated that um, in the book, this was God's. And we, he's, he called him God. We called him the Most High, Yahweh. 
but uh, basically stating that this was the most high's last warning to mankind, okay? And when the brother said that, that quote that he made, it stood out, okay? These videos we're doing are, are, are the final warnings to you people, okay? We ain't gonna be some disproved crackpot that spoke a bunch of false prophecies. It's not us, man. Lord's will, you know, and we know through the spirit, and I say this humbly, we're the real deal, man, okay? I believe that. Because who else is coming on the scene based on Bible prophecy at a phenomenal rate? And that's the spirit. This train got 4415 on it, man. Five represents power, 144, the election. Mercy, you know. So call hello, you how about you, how shy, man. It's just, this thing is getting ready to come to pass, you know. And people are still blind to it, but it is what it is. We ain't out here for you people that can't see it. We out here for those that have an ear to ear to hear. Okay? But anyway, uh, let's go here. Moses stretched forth his hand towards heaven. There was a thick darkness in all the land of Egypt three days. Okay? And, hey, three days on this side can feel like an eternity because, hey, it ain't got to necessarily be three days on this side. We feel like it's going to be blackouts from here to the missiles come. So it's, it's, it's going to be bad, man, you know. But it says here, and they saw not one another, neither rose from his dwelling place for three days but all the children of israel had light in their dwellings okay but this time you jakes you're not gonna have lightning okay you're gonna be categorized right uh in the same spectrum as these edomites and these other nations okay because the lord is gonna basically write you off as being the heathen all right because you didn't take heed into the warning that we were trying to give you through the spirit all right, and I got one more precept here. Like I said, I didn't intend on this lesson being this long. I was just in the middle of, of in transit. So, but anyway, this is the book of uh, Ezekiel 33 and 33. It says, and when this come to pass, lo, it will come. Then they should know that a prophet had been among them. So remember, we spoke these words in the name of Yahweh, Shimei, Shai. And with that, Shalom and the Baba Ball.